Well, folks, it finally happened, the moment our liberal friends have been waiting for. Earlier this week, police in London arrested 47-year-old Darren Osborne after he allegedly drove a rented van into a crowd of pedestrians just outside the Salafist Finsbury Park Mosque, killing one and injuring another 10. The victims of the attack were Muslims that had just left the mosque, and the attack is believed to be in retaliation for the countless Islamic attacks plaguing London. According to eyewitnesses, Osborne exited the van and shouted, I want to kill all Muslims. Scotland Yard's counterterrorism investigators say Osborne acted alone and his attack was definitely premeditated. They also say he became self-radicalized, developing a special hate for Muslims. Now we've seen Obama refuse to identify the problem and how soft his fawning liberal media can be on Islam. We've seen them drag their feet to report the names of jihadists after Islamic attacks. We've heard them report that the Islamic militant posted hateful rhetoric about infidels to social media and had recently traveled to the Middle East. They report that the Islamic militant was known to local law enforcement and maybe even on a watch list or was behaving odd with co-workers and neighbors. But even if the Islamic militant shouted Allahu Akbar during the attack, the liberal media will still scratch their heads as they search for a possible motive. Omar Mateen even called 911 to tell authorities he was shooting up Pulse nightclub in the name of Allah, but they still struggled to understand his motive. Not so in Finsbury. The media couldn't wait to call this an act of terrorism. Neither could Great Britain's shadow home secretary Diane Abbott. She immediately took to Twitter to label Osborne's attack terrorism when she routinely refers to Islamic attacks as incidents. In their reporting, the liberal media also failed to mention that the Finsbury Park Mosque is no ordinary mosque. This is the mosque of famous hate preacher Abu Hamza al-Mazri and has produced a number of violent jihadists including the shoe bomber and 9-11 attacker Zacharias Massawi. These leftists have once again exposed themselves as the liberal hacks they are. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.